Hey, so I am really, really excited because right now I'm going to be unboxing the iPhone 10 or X, whatever you want to call it, but I'm pretty sure they call it the 10. I just watched the Apple commercial like introducing iPhone X and this thing seems amazing. Like I have the Apple upgrade program, so right now I have the iPhone 7 Plus in silver with the white screen and every year I get a new phone or let's say this one like the one that I have right now like breaks twice I can replace it twice throughout the year uh, so it's like a pretty cool system I'm not exactly sure all the details but right now it's around $43 a month and it's gonna jump to like 56 a month with my new iPhone X so you pay that every single month and you get a new phone and it's pretty cool. The only issue is if you lose your phone, then you're gonna still have to pay for your old phone so that you've lost. So that's kind of bad. But anyway, I wanted to share that. But let's get to opening my iPhone X. I'm definitely most excited about the screen and how it works to like to charge. Like it comes, I think it comes with a pad, hopefully. But like it comes with this like pad that you set your phone on top of and your Apple Watch, which I have an Apple Watch, so that'd be perfect. I'm just extremely curious. Uh, I just hope it comes with a little pad because I didn't buy it separately. So that means uh, uh, a Best Buy trip is needed. I just backed up my iPhone 7 like a few minutes ago. So yeah. I'm a little nervous, but I'm really excited. So this is the box. I got the 256 gigabyte one. This is the like black silver one. So it's not the white one. I was gonna go with the white one, but I'm like, you know what? I wanna go with the black one. Oh, this is the most satisfying part about getting every iPhone right here. I'm dumb. Okay, I thought it only charged with like that pad. Like they're like, I don't know, like you can charge everything at once pad, but you have to buy that separately. It's probably like a hundred bucks, honestly. I might get it though, because it seems really cool, but it comes with the little, you know, normal, the charging box and then the USB cord that plugs into here. And then it also has the earbuds and the adapter because they didn't bring back the iPhone jack. Not the iPhone jack, what the heck, Fiona. Because they didn't bring back the headphone jack, which is kind of sad to me. Um, but this phone feels extremely heavy compared to my old phone. Oh, I guess not, but I don't know. It definitely feels a little heavier. This one is definitely heavier, for sure. Like, I almost could say this is like a pound, maybe two. I don't know, it's, it's decently heavy, like a pound or two. Let's just admire this. This looks so beautiful. It's just so aerodynamic, if that makes any sense. Like, there's like no bump or scratch yet. <laughs> Yes, I know, my home screen is amazing, am I right? Yes. It was me sneezing at a photo shoot and I just, I laughed so hard. I'm like, I need this every time I look at my phone. Anywho, um, how do we activate this? You know what, I think I'm gonna use the, whoa, oh my God, this is a huge change. Okay, okay, okay. I just realized this. Like there's many things I'm just realizing. Look how small it is. <gasps> it's like the normal size. No, I don't like that, but at least like the screen is just as big as the screen on the iPhone 7 Plus. No, it actually is bigger. So hey, at least there's a bigger screen. I'm happy about that because I'm like literally legally blind on one of my eyes. So it's really hard for me to like see small things. Um, So that's cool. At least the screen is bigger. So I'm okay with that. Excuse me, I'm okay with that. I definitely think it was clever of Apple just to make it like the screen. Like this is like the screen phone. Like it's pretty much just the screen because this white border is pretty much unnecessary in my opinion. I do kind of wish there was a home button still. Like I feel like that could have fit right there, you know? And then the other thing I noticed is the off button is humongous. It's like double the size as like the normal one. Like see it right here, you can barely see it, but it's right here. And then this is the um, normal one. I'm gonna hold this down and uh, hopefully the Apple button comes on. Ooh, boom, there we go. This phone feels beautiful. Like it just feels beautiful. Does that make any sense? Like the phone is just, oh, I don't know how to describe it. It feels really good. This is just beautiful. This is so aesthetically pleasing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna click. Wait, no, no, no. I don't, I know. No, no, no. Wait, how do I? Swipe to open. Swipe up to open. Ah, geez Louise, Fiona. I couldn't figure that out. Okay. <laughs> okay, English. United States. This is so cool. So if you have your like old phone that you're upgrading like from to this new phone, you can just set it next to it and it like sets it up. Oh my God, Apple, you're really smart. Face ID, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Okay, okay, continue. Oh God, I realized that I'm not doing this in with my glasses. Hopefully it will just recognize my face. 
first face ID scan complete sweet we got it okay so face ID is now set up so all you have to do is kind of like move your face in circles and up and down up and down I don't know like all that so yeah I think it has my face now the only issue is I'm not wearing my glasses right now. I have my contacts in so <laughs> so now I'm gonna back my phone up and I will be back it's like giving me anxiety like I have like scratchy scratchy I'm itchy right now because I'm like anxiety out anywho so I backed up this phone right before I started unboxing my iPhone 10 or X whatever you want to call it so what you do is you back this up and then you like use that backup and you restore this phone so it restores all this information onto here so that's what I was trying to do but it wouldn't let me because this didn't have the newest software update which I thought was weird because it's the newest phone but I guess it doesn't come with the newest software update so I had to reinstall the software or install the software I'm confused already um ooh, wait let's see if touch face ID works hi this is me you don't think it's me hun this is me okay there we go um wait can I do this? Okay, yeah, it's preparing the software update right now. So yeah, this is always stressful. Like getting a new phone is like so stressful to me. I'm just gonna be here chilling out, waiting for this phone to uh, prepare the update and update, um, and I'll update you. Okay, so what just went down is there was like an error for like the update, like it wouldn't update. And it was like an unknown error. I'm like, what the heck, Apple? Um, so uh, I re-updated it. I shut down my computer. It finally is working. I am restoring it right now. It says it's gonna take about eight minutes. So uh, I'll be back in eight minutes. Okay, one thing that I'm definitely noticing after everything updated and backed up and all of it, everything luckily was okay. I didn't have to call Apple once, which is good. Usually I have to and go into the Apple store, which also kind of sucks. Ah, now I have hair in my mouth. Okay, anywho. But the only thing I'm noticing is because I'm opening like a bunch of my like favorite apps and I'm like signing into them because it doesn't like save like my account. But definitely the one thing I am noticing is most of my apps that I use on a daily basis, like they don't go all the way throughout the screen. Like it kind of cuts off where the normal screen would be. So that's kind of frustrating, honestly, like that kind of defeats the purpose of this phone. But you know what, maybe I feel like eventually all these like apps will update and become like workable with the iPhone X. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. It seems kind of like an okay phone. Like it's nothing too crazy in my opinion. It's kind of cool that there's like no home button, but then again, I kind of, kind of want it back. Like I miss the headphone jack. Now I miss the home button. Like each like little thing that I love about iPhones is going away. And I definitely think how large the screen is, is pretty cool, but it's just like, here's an app that just doesn't have it yet. Like see how it's not the full screen? Yeah, kind of frustrating. I definitely feel like this phone is pretty unique. I've never seen an iPhone like it. Um, so I'm pretty excited. It's definitely a change. So would I recommend you get this phone? If you have the money, then go for it, but it's nothing too crazy new. But then again, I feel like this is definitely a big change for Apple, so it's really hard for me to decide, but like, it's pretty cool. It's definitely the future. But thank you so much for watching and bye.